welcome back to the series where we will be covering all the important concepts from a genetics topic um in icsc biology and um, we are today with this topic that is pedigree chart of tongue rolling trait so he, he, from here you probably will get one mark question beyond that you don't get much in your icsc board pattern however now uh, let's understand this topic so that in in your higher classes it becomes easy for you so what exactly is meant by pedigree chart so we know when we talk about a plant we can cross two plants and find out what could be the resultant progeny but in case of human beings we cannot be doing that isn't it we have to understand that um, using some sort of extrapolation we need to figure out what what could be the next progeny especially when we are talking about a health condition or a trait which is not really good for us for example some disorder all right so today we have uh, one topic one uh, um condition called as tongue roller or uh, non tongue roller it is not at all a hazardous condition if you are not a tongue roller it doesn't affect to your life quality in any way however this is the example given in our textbook so we are learning that so first and foremost what is meant by a pedigree chart a chart that shows the inheritance of a trait or health condition through generations of family so if we have this female and a male and we have to tell among the progeny who all will get this trait or not so first what is the trait being studied here ability or inability to roll your tongue all right so you can see that there are certain symbols used there is a circle here there is a square here and all that so we need to know the what does that symbol mean every time a circle is used it is for a female a square is used it is for a male if it is connected by a single line like this it shows that they have they are mating or they are married then whatever line indicates below uh, are the children of these two parents that's all you need to keep in mind and one more thing is if you notice these um, circles three circles you will find that these two are not shaded and this one is shaded so the shaded one indicates the affected individuals or affected trait okay so tongue rolling is a normal trait whenever you have a um, dominant allele r it the person can roll their tongue okay so if two dominant alleles are there definitely he or she can roll the tongue if one is also there one dominant allele is there he he or she can roll the tongue however if this is the combination of alleles that is small r and small r which indicates recessive alleles together homozygous recessive condition then he or she cannot roll the tongue so those uh, people are called as non rollers and indicated by small r and small r now the question here is you have so i have just recreated the same thing okay a circle joined with a square indicating male progenies are three one girl who is affected one boy and another girl same thing i have written over here so this is given to you from there you have to figure out how the parents are are the parents r r crossed with r r or are the parents r r crossed with r r are they homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant we know for sure it is dominant why because if it is recessive in any manner if it is recessive like this they are non rollers right now we know they are rollers all right okay so how do we back trace the parents to know that we have to first label the non roller we have this as the answer so in the punnett square we can put one rr which indicates a non tongue roller therefore there is an and one more thing is among the parents so let's say this is the female and this is the male all right one allele is for sure dominant in both cases in a male or in a female also in a male also one is for sure dominant okay this one we are not sure about the second one that is our only problem okay so we, let's figure out what could be the other one so we know for sure one among the progeny is recessive so we can easily put this over here and this over here so from this we can figure out that the parents are 
heterozygous dominant heterozygous dominant and for this we need not even know the um genotype of the other two children okay so if you get a question that one of the progeny for two tongue rolling parents is non tongue roller like this what, what is the possibility of the genotype of the parents you can without even thinking you can write they are heterozygous dominant okay now what is the other possibility other possibility meaning if the male is homozygous and female is heterozygous that is another case given to you okay case number 2 what is the thing given male is homozygous dominant so he is not he is a roller and female is heterozygous dominant so she is also a roller for that what will be the progenies um genotypes so i have already worked it out for you you can have a look at it and easily tell that all of them are rollers okay all of them have the ability to roll their tongue all right so hope it is clear to you in case if any doubts please connect with me thank you